guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut, which is awesome because we are completing a huge organizing project. You're gonna leave with some super practical tips. <laughs> Today we're headed to Owen's teacher's house. Her name is Megan. She's been with us for two years. She is such a loving teacher and a mom to two beautiful boys and a cat, Mr. Chili Beans. Their pantry space needed some extra love, but it needed to be something that was affordable and actually sustainable. Do you have a spot of your home that's like this? We are gonna tackle this together. And the first thing I do is a factory reset. Start with a clean, fresh slate. Find the places where you can let go. It really is a gift to your future self. All that extra stuff in the pantry wants your time and attention, and you've got a life to live. So don't get discouraged, it is worth it. You better turn up. This is a one day makeover, so no painting, just magic erasing. It's kind of a workout too, because it's like. <laughs> so we took everything out of the pantry and this is the spot where it starts to feel really overwhelming because you see all of the things that you have, but we went through and checked the dates. All of this is the expired food. And then we just categorize things into piles. And now is the super fun part, seeing how we're gonna fit it back into the pantry in a system that is going to work long-term. So this is what it looks like when I travel. I basically bring everything with me. Everything here is from Walmart and the dollar store. I even keep all my dollar store containers in a suitcase. It's just how I like to travel. And I've got my Cricut Joy here, which is so easy to travel with, so we can label everything quickly and on a dime. I love getting to show you guys all of this. Chili Beads wasn't so sure, but this is where we lay our organizing foundation and systems is a brand new find this year. These containers are 98 cents from Walmart. They have them in all different colors. They're nice and neutral. And this is gonna work really great for a snack station in the pantry. So this is gonna help corral all of those items. I love Walmart for the larger organizing containers and also their clear canisters. So this is gonna be perfect for canned goods and soups. And then these larger bins are gonna be great at the bottom of the pantry. I love Walmart for these larger containers. They are such a great price and very quality. I also saw this great idea on glue guns and roses and I happened to have an extra plant trolley. So I just zip tied this right onto the bottom of some Dollar Tree baskets. You can create custom storage if you get curious and think outside the box. I'm a turntable fanatic. If you have corner areas, this is going to save your life and it is worth the investment, just trust me. And my friends, always buy your turntables in bulk. You will save so much money and you will always have a use for them. Now we're gonna use that organization skeleton to create systems. And I move a lot of things around. My biggest goal is imagining how people will come in and use the pantry and how will your groceries be put away? Is it saving you time and energy? Anywhere I can, I get rid of packaging so I can create that uniformity and make it easy. So you control your stuff, it's not controlling you. And sometimes you have to lean into what is. I know so many people don't like wire shelves, but it actually worked out in this case. I took Dollar Tree zip ties and put it on this can organizer, and it feels like a custom piece of this pantry. You can still love your space, even if it isn't exactly how you envisioned. So we've got most things put back into the pantry and now we're decanting items. This is one of my favorite Dollar Tree containers. It's perfect for all of your snack foods. And I got these large cereal containers. These are a little bit more of an investment, but you can find them at Walmart and we've found they are really worth it. My bar for putting things in extra containers are items that are best kept airtight. That way you don't waste food. Plus they stack up really easily. 
Next, we're labeling with Cricut Joy. If you don't have a vinyl decal labeler or you feel overwhelmed by using them, I love the Joy because it is so simple. I've made lots of videos with it now and I make custom labels using the Cricut Joy app. It's totally free. All you have to do is choose the label that you want and the machine will print it. This can do anything from vinyl labels to cardstock, whatever you want, done for pennies as opposed to so much more that you would pay at the store. I really love how easy it is to find in the app too. If you just type in pantry, tons of options come up. What's really great about the Joy and why I recommend this one is it's no skill required. You just open it up and you can immediately start cutting and you don't need any fancy mats. All you need is smart vinyl. You stick it right in. I'm going to show you how easy this is. You get the size of the mat you want and you search a label, paste it in and size to your heart's content. That's it. I decided for this pantry project, I wanted written labels. So I typed them up. You can choose your font. There's tons of free options. And again, you can size this dragging with your finger or down below. You can type in the dimensions that you want. I simply copy and paste to create all of my labels. And then I just have to follow the steps right in the app. I select permanent vinyl. You just put your vinyl straight into the loading deck and then you're gonna hit start. really simple once your cutting is done you just peel back just like a sticker the outer edges and then I use my weeding tool to take out the centers to get ready to apply your labels you need some transfer tape and you're just gonna lay this over the top of your vinyl and then go over it with your rubbing tool Peel the backing away and your letters will be stuck on the transfer tape and you can stick these onto your containers. These Dollar Tree locker style bins work great for vinyl labeling. This is so relaxing and these are really quality. They last for a long time. Some of the stickers that you buy in the store are going to peel back. The Cricut does not do that, which is why I love it inside a pantry. I decided to attach these little labels on with zip ties. I got these at the dollar section at Target. They work awesome on these plastic containers as well, and you can easily wash them, no problem. Are you guys ready to see the pantry? Come on in. I didn't get super specific with the labels, but specific enough so the right things end up where they should because pantries are spaces we access so many times, it's important to have a system that is flexible. Anytime that you can see the inventory of your space, you're really helping to use up those things so they don't go bad. And she had this great system for Tupperware at the bottom, which she loved. So don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. These are really easy just to pull out now so she can access them. And we made sure that they all have the perfect lid because sometimes it doesn't happen. This can organizer, we just put zip ties on all the corners. It's not going anywhere. And it seems like a really intentional piece of this space. It's easier to pour now too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you made it to the end of this video, I am giving away a Cricut Joy to one of you. All you have to do is click the link in my description. It will send you over to my blog and you can enter to win. And if you enjoyed, definitely leave this video a big thumbs up because it lets me know you want more content just like this. And if nobody has told you today, you are enough. And that is something you should never let go of. I will catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe so I can see you there. Bye. This is one, one of my favorites because I really like blue and it's blue and it has some gold sequins in it. I would ask for a high five right now, but look at your hands. Yeah. I still think I should get one anyway. <laughs>